Your Storm Shield forecast only on Fox 47 News. Our stretch of beautiful days continues, Justin. Yes, now we just need it to last through Father's Day. Yeah, well, we're going to try to see if we can open <laughs> it up. Open the skies a little bit, at least for Dad, once we do get to Sunday. Unfortunately, looking like we got a little bit of wet weather moving in by then. Now, the good news is, like you said, the dry weather and the beautiful weather continues. We've got another real nice one on tap today. We're going to have a few more days like this this week. Just going to be getting a real hot out there. 82 is the current temp over MSU, but as you can see, not a cloud in the sky. It's been looking out that direction. Now, satellite and radar agrees with that, showing some very quiet conditions. Once again, we've had several days of this. Haven't had rain in quite a while. It might be a good time to water your lawn if you feel so inclined to do so. Now, the high temps today generally mid lower to middle 80s across the area, so we're just a hair warmer than yesterday right around those same marks right now Jackson and Lansing each at 83 degrees it's 80 in Mason 82 for Charlotte and in St. John's as well we've got a couple 80s in Hillsdale and in Coldwater as well but the dry air is still sticking around as well dew points only in the middle to upper 40s across the area that makes for a pretty pleasant evening out there once again, feels like we're kind of on repeat here, but it's a good repeat, so we'll take it. Now, temperatures further west, still very warm. Fargo, similar to yesterday in those upper 90s. Same with North Platte and Des Moines in the middle 80s like we are. But this area of the hot air going to continue to inch a little bit further to the east as we go throughout the next couple days. That's what we've been doing. We've warmed up just by a little bit almost every day this week. We'll see that trend continue throughout the rest of this week. Now, the wide view on satellite and radar again shows cloud-free skies over us. A little to the south, you see a little bit of some rain and some clouds down in Ohio backing out. You get a better look at that. That's still associated with that system that continues to bother areas further south of us. It's going to start to try to creep and retrograde a little bit back towards us as we get towards the weekend. Not going to see too many impacts out of this other than maybe a few clouds in the afternoons over the next couple of days. Outside of that, we don't really see a good threat for precipitation coming until this weekend. So as we put future track into motion here, again, seeing calm winds throughout the period, conditions stay mainly clear overnight tonight as we run through into our Thursday morning. Still looking pretty good. Now tomorrow could see a nice thin layer of clouds start to move through the area in the afternoon associated with some of that precipitation to the south, but we are going to continue to stay dry and mostly sunny throughout the day. And this will carry into our evening as well throughout the overnight period once again. Although again, temperature is going to be creeping up a little bit. So those nice cool nights or at least comfortable nights going to start to get a little milder as we go throughout the rest of the week. But we do stay dry through and into our Friday. So this evening, another very beautiful one out there. We hold on to the 80s for the next couple hours and then coast through the 70s slowly but surely through the evening. We're in the upper 60s by the time we roll around midnight. And as we get down overnight, we're at 58 degrees, so another comfortable one out there and mainly clear. So that'll be another nice night out there for us. Now tomorrow, we'll kick it up a notch, even from what we've been at the past couple days. I've got us getting into those upper 80s, 87, 88 degrees across the area with some more sunshine. Folks who do see more, going to get a better chance to see that 88 as we continue the warmth across the area. Now long range again shows us still in the above average temps, but starting to look a little bit more normal as we hit the end of the month of June. You'll see that at the end of the seven day. We do see the 90s on Saturday for sure, maybe even Friday. Some chances for rain are in the forecast though. Looks like Father's Day is the best day to get some of that. It's not going to be a washout and then temperatures get back down to around normal by the middle of next week.